What about the orange thing? Yeah, I was just going to put it to the one. Ideally, what I'm going to be waiting for Ooh. is a double decker. Right here, guys. We are actually around the back of St. Paul's Cathedral. Um, I've just been to the bathroom, which is always a bit of a mission in Corona time. Um, Dave is, has told me we're about to go and do some long exposures um, here of St. Paul's, but he told me, I see him in the distance, he told me he's going to um, be at this spot up here on the left. So um, he's been here before, he scouted it out. He's incredible at seeing um, different locations from um i guess all sorts of cities but um it, it definitely has a different perspective on things which is incredible that the um from a dingy alley to here we are at st paul so quite the tour guide um i mean look at these taxis <laughs> incredible um you can see st paul's up here around the back of it did do a pov earlier of um uh out the front of st paul's which is great. Oh, what is he in here? Oh, look at this car. Um, yeah, just sort of engaging with people where we can. Whoa, look at this. Amazing. The light. Is he in here? Restaurant is incredible. Hmm. Oh, he's down there. I lost you. I lost my battery. Oh no. no. Oh shit. I had to delete some stuff and then now we're back. It was just oh, that's good. In the process of explaining what we're here, out here doing tonight. Yeah. And the apparatus that we need um, <laughs> to capture. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Obviously, camera probably highly essential. Yeah, I'd say also batteries are highly essential as well. Batteries, yeah. And then top it off with a tripod. Oh yes, yep. We do need that. Down. Yep. Everyone's got Parkinson's in ten seconds. <laughs> Valid. Oh, my God, great hat. An incredible hat. So. <clears throat> So you've got a spot that um, you were thinking of, which is where I um, wandered off to then, but it's obviously completely oh. misheard you earlier. Oh yeah, yeah, there was that spot. Um, oh, okay, cool. it doesn't cool. necessarily have the movement of... Uh, Traffic that yeah, we were after. I see, yeah, I see, I see, I see. Obviously, Look at this view. Phone box, very mm. London. Mm -hmm. um, and that's Paul. You saw the vehicle go past right then. Yeah. Um, perfect spot. What I don't like is that sign there. Yeah, well, we can move the sign. Um, Why not? To move it. Yeah. yeah. Move the sign into the code. Yeah. Uh, yeah what about the orange thing? Yeah, I was just going to put it to the front here. Oh, so this is staying? That's going to find it. This thing on the floor that I thought was weird. Yeah, it can lift it. Easy done. Yeah. I hope that sign isn't in the way for the 50 shot I want to do. <coughs> we'll see. Oh, what angle do I want? Oh, you're gonna shoot from down low, low. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, mm. this is my spot right here. Your spot? That's my jam. <laughs> Scooby jam. Um, I wonder why the box isn't red. Um, 
Is there, is there an actual reason why um, only a few boxes of the black or? Yeah, um, no, I think they were changing them at some point, weren't they? Um, all right, quick clicks on. Okay, we're borrowing Dave's um, tripod here, of which in my new bag it's the first time I've um, latched it on, which is pretty good. Let me fit into the legs, but that's all you need. Oh, oh my god, this angle. This angle Give us a gig. It's gonna be insane. Wow. Yeah, I'll get out of your way. I'm just getting sorted. Wow, that's crazy. I need to sort out that white balance because we are in a very orange situation right now. We have a constant flow of all the Alright. Oh my god. I'm trying to figure out this puzzle. That's amazing. We are all set up. She's a bit wobbly. 10 seconds at F6.3 ISO 100. Ideally what I'm going to be waiting for Ooh. is a double decker bus. Oh, one's just pulled up at the light. It's Waterloo 76. <laughs> <laughs> Right there, isn't it? <laughs> so, right, guys, that is how you do long exposure. So you just gauge the f stop as to the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends what you want as well. Like, if you want that depth in, um, say, the what do you call it, the phone box, and into the oh, that person. Yeah, fuck it is. No, no, no. Um, if you want the dip, oh, there's a bus coming. The dip into the um, St. Paul's or oh, Hallman in the bag, yeah, then yeah. you need My to go deeper. Hackney work. I might go slower. No. That is gnarly. Oh my god, that's my jam right there. <clears throat> How are you finding the white balance? Um, I haven't even changed it from earlier. I'm at 63 Kelvin. I'm at 42. 42? Whee! You know the 5D? Yeah. Um, white balance is vastly odd. The colour oh, spectrum is so... I'm at 42 Do you find Kelvin. It... It's cold. It's cooler now. Yeah, well that makes sense. You have 42 Kelvin it's freezing. Well, give me a look at it. It's freezing. <laughs> Oh, it's a clean one. <laughs> oh, it's a bright boy! <laughs> wow! Amazing. Star Trek on air. Oh, shit. That's my guy. Fuck. Looks so much cleaner than mine. What Whoa. am I doing? Whoa! Oh. Is so here you can look at the difference because I'm like yours looks so much cleaner than mine and it's the Kelvin because yours has got the bluer light. Yeah. Whereas that looks just dirty to me, which <laughs> has to be the Kelvin. So I was on 6.3, you were 4.9, right? 4.2? Whoa. That's why it's such a drastic um... yeah, I mean it's five two just oh, to be yeah, different. Yeah. You know, you know. I might even try I'm gonna try and hit one of your um the Landys. Oh, it's saying that I should really um. Oh, there's two, three buses coming. Oh, the any of them clean? Oh, I don't know. Oh, there's tripod. Oh, no, the I think on. the plates on the oh, way. Oh god. Oh, now I'll get to me. It's 
so blurry. Shaky ass. Hmm. Three, two, two seconds. Three, two, three, two. Oh yeah. You're getting it. I'm on two seconds, but the rest are the same settings. Oh. Oh. Whoa. That's a gnarly one. Yeah. The three, two is legit, but I want to get one of them ones. Oh, cool outfit. Sick oh, outfit. Good. Actually, incredible outfit. I want to wait for one of these bright boys to come around. But if you haven't already dropped this video a like, <laughs> do that I've now. Forgot about the video. <laughs> yeah. Foggy or now? Subscribe if you haven't already. We do just come out on a night mission. I mean, I'm in my night mission. Um, oh, bloody crap. You can see the brake lights with that one, but I want it to be filled with the bus. And I've gone to the portrait view right now to turn the tripod on and stuff. Crap, not I like the lowness that you're in, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, I also Stealth like the wider ankle lens. Biters. Ankle biters. I might just scrap the telephone box. Can I leave my bag here? Yeah, I got you. You got me? Thank you. Alright, guys. So I kind of wasn't getting what I wanted there. I'm also not a big fan of this tripod. I need to tighten the plate. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's one of those ones. Anyway, where were we? God. Piggy in there. All right, so. It's been a long time since I've done um, long exposures. Um, and by long time, what I mean is kind of back at college, which was a long while ago. Um, I can't remember what year it was. But um, life-changing experience. It did give me the fundamentals of learning photography, especially we learned in film, which is something I want to get back into. But, um, I have a camera release button is something I should go get. Oh, it's just getting me back. Uh, just have to grab something. My cable release might just take my whole bag. Oh, your case. cable release, is that you? Yeah. Same with bending down, you know. <laughs> Enjoy the moment. Um. Just because this camera plate is um, actually quite shaky with the 1DX, it's kind of not the most stable. So to um, bypass that, I do have a cable relief in here, which I've never used. So um, if I'm to use that, it will mean I won't have fingers on the camera and with the loose quick plate, because it is what it is. Um, and then there will be no camera shakes so good way to um cable release is a good way to minimize that Ugh. cheap as anything um but the more expensive you do go the uh, more reliable it will be let's see if i can bend over figure out where it goes no it is tethering Those bells. I don't use them, eh? 
So I'm just framing up here. Figure out where we do and don't want a shot to start and finish. So with the 50 mil, I'm going to try and get the top of the cathedral in and just the lights at the bottom as well. So oh, I need a proof of this. quickly because I can hear the bus coming um, take it off one shot go for single hope that the so what we've got there is a pretty cool shot but I think what would be cooler is if um I actually get closer. I'd be sick if it was lower. Um, I think having a wider lens for this, unless you're really, really far away, a wider lens is better. But we'll see what we get. And at least this gives us um, a couple different perspectives. We'll see how it looks. So here I'm just focusing on the building in the background. Is there enough light for me to even do that? No. I think I was able to focus on that. Oh my neck. All right, so I'm just gonna time it. Just checking if the cable release is still in properly since waddling all over. Um, yeah, so night exposure is about kind of just finding a shot, getting a composition in place, and then thinking of the elements that you want. So I can see a bus coming in reflection, um, which would be cool to have a part of it. Hey, Dave. <laughs> How, how'd your shots go? I just got banger. Yeah, yeah. I awesome. Hackney Work 26 is back for some more. Just chilling, mate. <laughs> Bloody good. Okay, so I want to quickly just focus on Oh god, it's different when you're upside down. Uh, thanks. Getting there. <laughs> Great white pants. Exactly like my favourite white pants. Suits and top well. Oh, I missed the buses! <laughs> oh, I'm such a dick. I've been part of a piece of street hall. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. I was admiring her, her white pants. They're the same as my favourite white pants. Oh. And I got so captivated, and then I completely missed my double red bus shot. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Shocking. Uh, might just have to chill here for a bit longer. It's really quite amazing just sitting on the pavement with you. It and is it, nice. it is cool, right? Well, you can sit in central London, right outside St. Paul's Cathedral. Yeah. On the floor. On the floor. <laughs> Chillaxing. Warm summer's night. That's insane. Yeah. After laying in the park all day as well. But yet we've had a great day exploring. I love it. Create images like this. Mm. So Sorry guys. 
you can see just there firing off, well, can't see, but hearing just there firing off a whole heap just as the buses came by. But I just stopped down in depth as well because I was at 2.8. Was at 2.8 and now um, we're at 7.1. So Dave's just had some people in my some of the photography, the fact that even the people across the road, the fact that we're actually just literally <laughs> sitting in the streets of London. But it has been a wonderful day, like just doing what we love to do, which is exploring new places, meeting new people, and um, having just a good conversation with people rocking around and doing their thing. It's an incredible place, you know. And it's like living these experiences as well has also been great for me in regards to just throwing myself in a new zone and um, opening myself up to new experiences and risks and like moving to a new country, especially during coronavirus, taking a leap of faith to go meet someone that oh I've literally... What? I've got an idea for a shoot with you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm so down. Pardon? This one? Alright. Only when you I've got a loom cube and I want you to Like and I want that 24 water I put in the pool and you in the phone box. That would be so cool. Yeah. yeah let's do it. I just want to get a bus shot. Loom cube flashed and then you know, sorry, I'll allow you to continue. <laughs> yeah, I just want to get this one. I might actually just go a bit slower here. And with that, I'm just going to show up. Hey? <laughs> it's actually incredible. Yeah, that extra depth, you can see, just gives it the element that it needs. Cool. That's with a four second exposure here guys. Which as you can see looks pretty sick. Like that's more the time that we want. The depth is um, also where we're at. And I like that um, this last one here is actually covering the um, roadworks at the bottom. So yeah, it's pretty sick. I like that. A few good shots in here. It's taken me a bit to um, kind of remember how to do a long exposure. But I think we've done pretty well here, so I think we might continue on with our mission tonight, just playing around a bit, having some fun, enjoying the good weather, and just exploring the city together and just doing what we love. So um, keep watching, you like and subscribe, and let us know where you think we should go next. See you guys. Cheers.